Hi everyone. This is the fifth video of our series called Essential Skills for Mechanical Engineers. In this video, we are going to talk about HVAC design engineering. Since heating, ventilation and air conditioning is very important for residential and commercial buildings as well as industries, this sector is growing at a very fast pace and creating a lot of new requirements for HVAC designers. HVAC systems function to maintain the comfort and safety of building occupants. The discipline of HVAC design is deemed to be a sub-speciality of mechanical engineering. The role of HVAC designer has a principal emphasis on the design and development of new or replacement heating, cooling and refrigeration systems. Within their job descriptions, HVAC designers may have the responsibility to work on air quality issues, energy efficiencies, system installations, environment concerns, drawing design specifications or project and budget management. HVAC designers are hired by HVAC equipment manufacturers, consulting firms, architectural design firms, builders and industries like pharmaceutical, petrochemical, automobile, power plants, refineries, steel plants and other manufacturing facilities. Now we come to the top skills that you need to have if you want to become an HVAC design engineer. First and foremost is the knowledge of thermodynamics and heat transfer concepts like sensible heat, latent heat, specific heat and ton of refrigeration. Next, an HVAC design engineer should know about the function and types of the basic components of air conditioning and refrigeration machines that is compressor, condenser, expansion valves and evaporators and also accessories used in these systems like solenoid valve, liquid line filter dryer, moisture indicating side glass, suction line filter, hot gas mufflers, shut off valves and access ports. Third is psychometric analysis. Psychometry is the study of moist air. It is very significant in terms of thermal comfort and is a major consideration in design of air conditioning systems. Air conditioning engineers use the psychometric chart to predict changes in the environment when the amount of heat or water in the air changes. Heat load calculation. HVAC design engineers perform load calculations to determine how much heating and cooling power various equipment must put on in order to heat or cool spaces when needed. Next is static pressure calculation. HVAC designers perform static pressure calculation for the selection of air handling units fan capacities. Sixth skill is duct design. Duct systems are designed to properly distribute air throughout a building. Ducts that are not well designed result in discomfort, high energy costs, bad air quality and increased noise levels. There are many different methods used to design ventilation systems, the most common being velocity reduction methods, equal friction methods and static regain method. Choosing the right size duct is critical to maintain proper airflow in the system. Seventh is piping. HVAC piping deliver hot water, cool water, refrigerant, condensate, steam and gas to and from the HVAC components. HVAC piping system can be classified into two parts the piping in the central part equipment room and the delivery piping. The central part equipment room consists of the pipe networks connected to the rotating equipment and tanks. They are connected to different types of equipment like heat exchangers and pumps 
over the pump room from these regions the piping network transports the process liquid to the other parts of the building using the delivery piping eighth is kitchen ventilation systems ventilation is the single most important factor in the design construction and operation of commercial kitchens without adequate ventilation and ample supply of clean makeup air no kitchen will operate efficiently while designing the ventilation system of a commercial kitchen an hvac designer needs to make sure that the general ventilation through the kitchen introduces sufficient clean cool air and removes excess hot air for the participants to breathe adequately and remain comfortable the general ventilation provides sufficient air for complete combustion at burning appliances otherwise chronic delibitating carbon monoxide poisoning could occur the general and local ventilation dilutes and removes products of combustion from gas and oil fired applications the general and local ventilation dilutes and removes odors vapors and steam from the cooking processes the local ventilation protects against particular hazards to health arising from some cooking fumes such as those involving direct application of heat to the food the local ventilation is capable of being kept clean from fat residues to avoid loss of efficiency and fire risks and finally the system is quiet and vibration free the last and the most important skill that an hvac design engineer needs is the knowledge of cad software after all the calculations and plans are made the ducting and piping systems are designed on a cad software various softwares like hevacom revit autocad plant 3d and bim are used in the industry while you might have a design experience on one of these yet you need to have an exposure to the others so that you don't miss out any good opportunities at up school we have expert mentors who train these skills and help you get into your dream job thank you for watching this video see you in the next one